You know, I thought this whole live uh, Saudi League and uh, PGA Tour, they, they, you know, they were combining, going together. Then I discover, and this is where Doug Eldridge, a sports agent, can help me out, that John Brown, one of the best golfers on the planet, signed up with Liv. It's a half billion dollar deal. I don't, I don't understand. But Doug, I didn't think th 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 that was even necessary. But apparently that's not a done deal. And so players can still bolt, right? It's not a done deal at all, and it seems that that arbitrary December 31st deadline that we heard back in June with the surprise announcement of a, of a halt to litigation and a p possible armistice in the form of a merger, that's really coming into question with Liv signing the number three golfer in the world, the reigning Masters champ and the only European to ever win the U.S. Open and the Masters. This is a big get for Liv and really, really calls into question the future of this potential merger. And what about the future of the PGA Tour itself? Well, that's the big question. I mean, we're ultimately talking about tradition versus trillions. And by that, I mean, clearly the PGA is steeped in tradition. It is the preeminent name in golf around the world. But you're ostensibly, ostensibly battling a, a would-be adversary with almost limitless uh, pockets in the form of the Saudis. I mean, the, their, their PIF has a rumored $762 billion in it. They put a mere $2 billion on the table, really as life support uh, for the PGA with another $1 billion offset in that June announcement. But again, we're coming to a point, Neil, where if, if, they could, if the PGA is continually outspent and all of their major stars not named Tiger or Rory have already jumped ship, then you're running out of, you're running out of oxygen very quickly. So there's no staying attached with it anymore, it seems, um, you know, where when they were recruiting other players months ago, uh, oh, you're hooking up with a, a murderer who runs a kingdom and all of that. That's gone now. So yeah. I'm wondering where this goes now. Well, you know, and that's the crazy thing. This was the PGA's battle to lose from in the in the court of public opinion, you know, from from a perception and optics standpoint. And they have done themselves no favors from backtracking on on statements regarding live and, and banning and prohibiting their players from competing in live based tournaments. They were doing nothing to to win the hearts and minds to bar, to borrow the phrase of not only their own players, but the fans itself. And Liv has taken a, a far more aggressive tack, not just in terms of their financing, but in terms of the way they're trying to approach media. They were mocked for not having a TV contract, so they went yeah. to YouTube. Where do you think the future of young viewers is? It's not tuning into NBC and on Sunday afternoon outside of the Masters. It's getting that streaming content. So they're taking an aggressive tact. But, you know, I've always said sports remains. The, the best example of the free market. It's a pure meritocracy. You're either 6'6", 300 and can block for Brady or you're not. You're either 7 foot and can dunk from the free throw line or you're not. You're either a 29 year old Spaniard who won the Masters, is ranked third in the world and has earned the right for a three to five hundred million dollar payday yeah, or you're not. I guess. You know? and, and he's or really either you have a trillion position. dollars to piss away or, or you don't. And, and, <laughs> yes, and, and they have that edge, don't they? All right. Yes sir, they do. That's, right. there, there's no doubt about that. You're the best. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, Doug. Doug Eldridge, sports Thank agent you, extraordinaire out of Washington, D.C. But he's amazing. All of a sudden, all the controversies around live when it started. Now, bygones are bygones, I guess, except for the PGA. Ironically, in a position where they can't control this. Money talks, I guess. Money talks.